what's up guys and welcome back to another video so today we're here with exposure uh we're gonna take a look at the map i'm gonna give you the tips and tricks that i know the spawn locations for enemies and the things that you generally need to know to be able to play this map effectively these tips usually apply for conquest but you can actually use them in different game modes so no worries there you can go ahead and check the playlist down in the description there's a link to it so you can go ahead and enjoy the previous videos that we've made on other maps and i'm just going to keep working on these videos as we progress forward uh, so do make sure to stay tuned to the channel subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you won't miss out on the future content so we're going to start with a site a is literally the most important site of this map in my opinion many people just overlook how important this one is uh, simply because it's far away you know it's really far away from the other objectives but that's actually the key the team that holds this site can actually have access to the sites below really easier like what you're gonna do you're gonna just jump down and open your parachute and boom you're there whereas for the enemy team they just have to move a lot on foot so they can finally get their asses somewhere that they want to play that's not the case for the team that's holding a site so a is really important but there are things about a site that you might not know first of all i think a lot of you might not know this but you can do something like this especially if that's your base and there aren't snipers out there just looking for uh like praise to kill uh this is a great place you can be like in here especially if you're trying to uh attack the site Th there won't be a single person expecting you here unless they're they're just fucking cheating <laughs> believe me they won't be expecting you here also you can do things like this for example you have literally the whole site you see everything here usually what i do is playing between these containers let me open this one as well i usually just move around between those containers because it's really safe if someone tries to follow me or just cut me down i'll be able to lose them here and get myself into a better situation and just boom straight up kill them Think you can do things like that and this is how i always tend to play but there are th other things you can do a lot of people don't do anything like this but just look at this anyone coming from those containers from back there anyone they're going to be able to see them easily and they won't be expecting someone like this like prone here you can also take cover behind this like this this is going to be a head glitch with solid cover and even people that come from behind you don't really expect you to be here they they might actually miss you I've, I've been there things like that happen to me you should always be aware about these barrels here because they can really explode easily so don't really try to stay so close to them because you might just get squashed for no reason and there's also this one you can be around these containers like something like this or maybe even better, some like this. You have more lines of sight here, and not a lot of people actually expect you to be here. But that that one right there, it's really better. If I have to choose, I'm gonna choose here. It's not really a common sense for people. A lot of people even check there, but this is not a place where you see a lot of people play. So that's about A site. Always keep in mind that A is very important when it comes to having access to the other sites. So keep that in mind that it is really an important site. All right, now let's move on to C. C and D are not really complicated sites, to be honest. There's just a big open terrain with little to no cover and people just tend to spawn from all over the place. But for C, if you're a attacking this site and you're waiting for people to come and defend it people who come to defend this site actually get spawned here they usually get spawned here in the back of these containers like from there all the way to here most of the times like nine out of ten times they get spawned there and sometimes you might see people just spawn from behind that rock right there but that doesn't really happen a lot so if i were you i would just hold this place and just wait for people to come at for holding that place if you don't want to be in a in an awkward situation and you want to put yourself somewhere that they don't expect you this is somewhere you can actually be you go prone here and you see everything they won't be expecting anyone to be like this like they expect you to be down there to be here i don't know to be around here but they don't really expect anyone to be up there like prone up there that's really that's really bad for for someone that's coming towards you and i recommend you not getting in here unless it's absolutely necessary but if you get here at least try to be someone like this and not a lot of people can see you when people know there's someone here they're going to come in here pre-firing around here but they they don't really expect anyone to be up here so always try to be somewhere that's really unexpected for enemy team they don't really want to check those corners also i really like this container sometimes i just get in here and use it as a um, cover to maneuver myself somewhere else it's a really good piece of cover if you can take advantage of it when the time is right so that's about c site there's really not much to talk about also on top of these containers you might be able to do something like this i don't know how effective this might be but you can also for example do things like this so anyone spawning from there 
it's just gonna be a dead meat simple as that so yes you can actually do things like this it just depends on you and your enemy team it really depends how passionate you are about defending or attacking that site really so that's some ninja thing you can also do now let's take a look at d site all right now d in my opinion is literally the simplest site in this map there's really there's really nothing with it the only thing that there is here is like a truck crash and that's the only cover here the rest is just open terrain open rocky terrain with no cover if you're coming to attack this site people will usually spawn from around here most of the times like most of the times you see people coming around here or maybe even back there sometimes and this doesn't really happen a lot people get spawned there or uh, behind that that doesn't really matter what you want to do is you know you, you want to avoid being around this cover this little truck that's here people will usually check this first and then they try to check other places what i would do instead is try to be somewhere like this simple as that they don't really expect you to be here anyone coming from there which is the common spawning location will be easily dead so you don't want to be around this because that's just awkward people know you're there and they will come for you pre-firing don't do that somewhere like this or maybe maybe this maybe this also works you can also contest the site here and you have a ridiculous height advantage like anyone moving there you're gonna be able to see them so that's it and if you want to be not contesting the site but have eagle eyes on the site this is the place for you you can't contest it from here but you see everything happening from back there all the way to around there so that's also something you should know. Okay, so now let's take a look at B2. When you usually attack B2, people that come to defend the site will spawn usually around there or just down there. Okay, so usually they come up here and then through this tunnel, they're going to get to the site so they can defend it. If they don't spawn there, they're probably going to be spawning uh, from back there, like there. Okay, so there are two ends that you need to take care of. If you want to defend people coming from here, the best place I can give you is literally just here, behind this desk. It's really safe. The desk is literally indestructible. So you can be around here, half of your body is in cover. And this is literally the only way for you to defend people who are coming from there. There are other places as well. For example, you can be behind here. And if you're sure that's no one here, then this is a good place. You can also be head glitch and take cover here. And if people coming from there are showing themselves, you can easily kill them and cut them down. To defend the side from people that are coming from here, uh, the end of this tunnel what you can do is like place a sh iris shield here and then go behind it and start doing your thing but if you don't want to contest the site you can also be around here or maybe around here this is really good this one especially this one is really good like people that come here don't really want to see th something like this you can barely see people behind this now imagine how hard it is for them to see you that's how you want to defend the site but there's something really important there people can actually go on top of this building here and they can actually place radio beacons so the team can actually spawn really easily if that's the case what you're going to do is you need to go up there immediately as soon as possible and destroy the radio beacons kill everyone there and then come back down because as long as there are people there you won't be having any good time here because they're just gonna jump down get back into the site and start capturing it that's not going to be cool that's not going to work out so what you're going to do is going up there fix the issue and get back down so let's go to b1 now uh just keep in mind that b1 and b2 are the places of action most of the gunfights take place between these two sites because they are closer to each other they're going to provide some close combat fights and people usually just like to play here most of the times okay let's take a look at b1 now when you come to attack the site people usually spawn from back there or back there so the two sides of the tunnel right let's take a look at this site usually when people get spawned here to defend they're going to be spawned here Okay. and that's that's really good because you can easily cut them down like anyone coming trying to push from there your head glitched like this and you're going to be able to cut them down problem with this position is that you're not going to be able to contest the side as well so you're gonna if you want to do this you have to just leave the contesting to your team however from back here you can also contest the site and try to cut off anyone coming from there or even from the right side this is also somewhere you want to be which is not as solid as that but if there's no other choices then this is also another good cover for you if you know that your enemy is coming from only only one direction this this object right here i don't even really know what this is this is a great cover to be behind it if they're coming from that side for example this is a perfect cover for you if you know that no one's coming from your back and the same really applies here if people come from this side of the tunnel they're going to be spawned around there behind that container so what you want to do is you want to be up here and just try to shoot them as effective as you can and if you and if you have an irish in your team and you are an irish yourself placing a shield here will make it just easy peasy for you to defend people coming from there if they can actually push you they're going to be around here and they're going to take cover behind this so always tread carefully when you come around this corner 
always check out here so there are no enemies waiting for you to surprise you. Keep that in mind. Also, if I want to give you some general tips, I usually play Sundance here because of just the high advantages that the sites have over each other and because of the long distances between these sites. So I always find it interesting to play Sundance here, but also McKay works great, gives you some edge and gunfights all the time. Also, if I were you, I would just uh, play SMGs and assault rifles. I really don't like playing DMRs and sniper rifles here. I'm not that type of guy. PTFO, play the objective, do what needs to be done for your team and try to win instead of being like the camper on a hilltop doing literally nothing but getting some headshot like 10 12 kills from like 600 meters away that's not going to be helping your team in any ways so hope you guys enjoyed hope these tips and tricks were helpful and if you do do make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel because there are more videos like this coming your way soon thanks for watching and until next time guys stay cool